we're gonna make it long story short. Long story short. His car shut down. All right, I hate this. Hey guys, it's Jules. Welcome back to my channel. This is my brother. Blade! Um, all right, we have a fun video. It's like asking your brother weird questions. Wait, first, before we begin into this, guys, I gotta warn you, this is our first car vlog, so the camera might fall. Also, we got free Dunkin' today, by the way. Which... Oh, do you think double texting is a big deal? Double texting. So, you know what I mean? What do you mean? It's like when you, all right, is this like when you first meet a girl? And I'm just you saying double you, text them something, yeah, or it's yeah. like in general when you like you're saying you're talking to a girl, like for you. Okay, like I just met a guy at a bar, and like I I was like double texting. Is that like a big deal? Is that like a turn off? I feel like right. So this is my personal experience. I feel like when a girl double texts, it means they're interested in you. Yeah. I feel like how it should be is the girl should be chasing the dude. I feel like the girl should double text, but dude should not. Dude should I play more agree. hard to get, is how I say No, I think the girls should play hard to get because they're more of a catch. They're more of a catch? Yeah, but you gotta make, all right, for in order for a girl to like like you, you gotta make them start chasing you. That's what I learned. I personally just don't think it, there's anything wrong with it. I double text <laughs> people all the time. I triple text. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with it, personally. Dudes, don't don't triple text. I mean, double texting, if you, you guys, if you guys are I vibing, triple text. if you guys have been vibing well, then yeah, then I yeah, guess yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. But like, in the very beginning, yeah, it'd be hard to get. Okay. What's the most embarrassing thing you've done to get your crush's attention? I have like stories. Oh, are we doing story time? Your story no, time no, or my no. story time? No, you go, you go. Okay, this is my Subaru day. Wait. Guys, I used to have an O2 Subaru WRX. I love this car, amazing. And I didn't like it. back then, I had a crush on Lauren. Yeah. She invited me to, I had a crush on her and this other girl that I hooked up with at, that were going to the party. He liked these two. I liked these two girls at his party. Yeah. <laughs> and I wanted to go to this party. And I was like, oh, I got this sweet car. Everyone's gonna like it. I'm gonna be the talk of the party. and be so cool there. All right, so he wanted to get with these two girls. And you know what? We're gonna make it long story short. Long story short. His car short. shut down. <laughs> his car, the engine oh, the bench right there. literally exploded. But, but yeah, my car broke down halfway through. On the first date, who was supposed to pay for the food? All right, I hate this. All right, no, actually, no. So the dude has to pay for the first date. But, 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 this really shows if you're with the right girl. If the girl offers to pay or me split the bill, then you know she passed the first test. If she doesn't offer to pay, then I don't even take her on her second date. I stop talking to her. You know what I do? Regardless, well, I usually always would take turns paying the bill when I was in a relationship, but when he would pay the bill, I would always pay the tip. Wait, so we're talking about the first date, right? Yeah, but I'm okay. just saying in like regards to like dating, I would always pay the tip. Yeah, and you have to go back and forth. Like, wouldn't you actually, Seeing yourself at least, seeing each other at least more than once, you definitely have to go back and forth. That's just disrespectful. Just yeah, if you, know? you don't, it's really just it's annoying. Just... Okay, next question. We need to do these quicker. We don't want story times. And if you can't afford the date, then figure something else out. Like if you there's, don't have cash, there's so many things to do. Go to the so beach. There's so many things to do. Even if you had to walk, like go on a walk. Go to a drive in movie theater and bring snacks from your house. Like exactly. that is like so cute and romantic. Wait, wait, I have a question for you. Best first day for a girl. Like where, where do you want to be taken out? Okay, so I want to go to the beach. I don't want to do anything at night because, like, I'm not trying to get killed. So, like, it's a big turn off if you're like, let's just hang out at night. So, I would say go to the beach, stay there all day, watch the sunset, swim around. If they're, like, fun, then you're going to know because if they're at the beach and they're, like, playing, they're, like, swimming and whatever, then you're going to know they're a fun person and you're going to want to, like, go out with them again. But if they're just sitting there and, like, on their phone, no. So, I would say the beach, watch the sunset. Maybe like have a picnic, bring some chips or whatever. That would Something be that you can like vibe with, you know? Yeah. That's why I don't like I don't like movie dates because you can't talk to them. You don't get to know them. Yeah. Like I ice cream I dates or like movie. beach dates or perfect. Yeah, and then and then ice cream after. Yeah. <laughs> Even though like I'm kinda of lactose intolerant. How many significant others have you had? How many like in the actual how relationship? many girls have you dated? Like actually dated. Yeah, like you put a label on it. I'd say like three then. Yeah, I think three. Actually, had oh, three it? relationships and then that, that were real. That three were relationships like, that were labeled. legit. Yeah, legitimate relationships. Are you looking for a relationship? Right now, not really. But if something does come about, I mean, I'm not gonna like say no. Yeah. Like if I, if I find a girl that I really vibe with, and that I, I think she's, a, I think that she'd be like a, a cool person that I really vibe with. Maybe my ride or die or something like that. That's what I'm looking for. If I find my ride or die in Florida here, and like yeah, of course. But right now, I'm not really looking to anything. So I think Julie can answer this too. 
Like right now, both of us are trying to set ourselves up for life. We're trying to really yeah. focus on what we're doing and the businesses that we have started up here. So we don't really want to spend that much time on just chasing people, trying to find relationships. We'd rather, we'd rather set ourselves up and have things come to us. And have you ever been cheated on? Yes. Next question. <laughs> what do you look for in a girl? What do you look for in I'm a like girl? I'm like sweating now because I don't have the air conditioning on. What do you look for in a girl? What I look for in a female. Yep, that's it. Purpose. Definitely, one of the biggest things is definitely passion, I feel like. That's my favorite word, like purpose. Yeah, purpose or like passion. Somebody that, because Julie and I, we have a lot of stuff going on. And we can't be talking to you 24 seven. You know, so we need somebody, and I, I think I'm speaking for you, we need somebody that's out there doing their own thing, grinding themselves. And yeah, we can hang out with them, we get dinners or talking every now and then but we can't be constantly talking with somebody we want we have a direction that we're going into that's the best way biggest turn off in a girl my three tests first the politeness test to see, so like when i go to a date you gotta find out if she's willing to like split the bill the second test is if my sister likes them because that's the biggest thing and then the third test is if she's passionate so mm -hmm. if they fail any of those it's like they're out right there yeah Instantly. All right, biggest turn on for a girl. And it does not have to be sexual. It's just like, what is something that's like, gets gets you like dreaming about her? Yeah, passion, definitely passion. Yeah. Definitely purpose of passion. Yeah, for sure. When was the first time that you got drunk? By the way, he's 22, he is of age, so like, let's just. First time I got I drunk, I don't think he was in like, oh, first time I got drunk was like seriously drunk was in, but after prom. We went to Seaside. Oh my gosh. When was your first party that you like attended? Yeah, my first one was at the prom probably. Yeah, it was in high school. I was too focused on like track and I yeah. always felt that if you drank or you did anything, it would ruin your performance in track. Which is some. like very accurate. A lot of the guys who actually drank during track like vomited and then couldn't perform the best yeah. in their races. Mm -hmm. how, many, how many girls have you kissed? I can't count that. More than 10? Like, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <sighs> That's staying that in. That is staying in. <laughs> that is staying in. All right. It this smells in here. Julie just farted. So I gotta go. But Hurry these up, are smells. these are all the questions that I have <laughs> for today. If you enjoyed, please subscribe, like, comment down below your answers, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Mine will be right here. His will be right there. Follow him on YouTube. Follow him on TikTok. Follow me on TikTok. We just post new TikTok videos. Follow us. I'm gonna go thrift shopping. We'll take you guys with us. No, it'll be a different video, but yeah. Subscribe. Doses. Bye. Subscribe. Bye. Subscribe!